that go. That means tame your mind. Let that go. Is enough? Is enough? We have to think. I mean, that's what Buddha says. Enough is enough. We've been doing that according to the gracious teacher from the biggest times. Until now, what we gain? According. Still we are hope and fears. Still we are longing something good things. Not yet. And worry, doubt, hesitation, and fears. That is continually kind of raging one after another. All that. That is the result of what we've been doing with our mental status. So now we have to change. We should let that go. We let that go. What is arising? The hidden quality of the nature of the mind. The na true nature of the mind. Love, joy, appreciation, openness, calm, peaceful, confidence. All those are arising. When that arising, what is in the Buddha's teaching in this case? That is known as taming the mind. That is tamed. We are not wild, neurotic, and disturbance to anyone. We are not becoming as like porco pies. <laughs> not porco pies, not shooting. We really tame. We become so calm, so peaceful, and happy, nice, and everybody see how beautiful, how nice it is. I mean, that's, that is the symbol of a timing. For those reasons, what the Buddha teaching said. See, sign of the starting of a sign of the not the sign. In a sign of who are really kind of knowledge of all the Buddha teaching, they, they, they're so gentle. Sign of knowledge of Buddha teaching, so gentle and so peaceful, so kind of common sense or sensible and with full of common sense. That's what Buddha teaching said. If you really know, I know the Buddha teaching, I know this, I, I know Hinayana, I know Mahayana, I know Vedayana, I receive that teaching, I receive this, I receive this. I mean, we have so many lists actually, many of us. <laughs> but what is really symbol need? What the teaching say? Should calm, peaceful, gentle. Body is so calm, peaceful, nice. Speech is calm and peaceful, nice. Mind is calm and peaceful, nice. Yet, that is really the sign of the, the teaching absorbed in the heart, not on the record, on the books, or, or in the brain. That is the sign. Sign of that. And then in the teaching, said, and if you are really the a sign of the meditation, of the teaching, meditation, less emotions. Less emotions. That means negative emotions, as we all know. Name, ignorance, attachment, anger, jealous, arrogance. Those are known as negative emotions. <coughs> Less those. Or even there is, even is it coming out, handled so nicely, it didn't make disturbance to one's own self, it didn't disturb to the others. Instantly liberate, you taking care of that. You take that and let it go. That is known as a solid symbol of the sign of the meditations, solid symbol of the practitioners. So those are, and then if that happens, what is it called? Tame your mind, or when you tame the mind, then you really, or then we are really observing the Buddha teaching. That is my teaching, is it? Teaching is, of course, we call this is teaching. It's true, these books are teaching, but real teaching is in your heart or in our heart. In our mind, if you are able to keep, or we are able to keep that, then we are the holder of the teaching. Holder of the teaching. Holder of the teaching is not just one selected group, one person, or some kind of like figure. The teacher, I'm sure they hold teacher too. Teachers hold too. But we all, we all the Sangha members are known as holder of the teachers, teachings. That what it means. When you keep that, when you have that realization, we are holding, we are maintaining, we are upkeeping the teaching. Teaching is not something that we are making favor to the Buddha or kind of trying to please the Buddha. But teaching is our nature. We connect to our own nature, our own true qualities. We are activating, we are glorifying, and we some degree help to the other or that effect with the other. other and that is the as like win, win situation or coming. Oh, we are winning. Then we really, that is practitioner. That is the Dzogchen practitioners. That
that is Guru Bhima's sum of followers. That is follower of the great master, His Holiness Dunya Rumuchi. And that is follower of the great master, Kenji Pardishara Rumuchi too. And then all the other great masters, that's what they do. So those are really just a kind of thought to uh, talk a little bit about as uh, part of this uh, kind of, again, we always need to each other. We are still like Sangha members. We are like going in one boat, group together and uh, together and practicing in the teaching of the Buddha, Dharma, according to our best capabilities. And the Sangha members, one of the very quality and important of Sangha members is always in the teaching, helping to each other, reminding to each other, inspiring to each other, learn from each other, and move forward. forward. So in those contexts, in those levels, yes, I say those few words, and I 